<laughs> Funny there was somebody who played a trumpet today. <laughs> <laughs> Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Nice. Uh, we're not the uh, rap podcast. We are the electro. No, we're not the electro <laughs> industry either. We are the. Uh, let me start again. <laughs> no, I like it. Yeah, with the distorted, the distorted trumpet. trumpet show. Oh. We are. Hello, my name's Phil. I'm JJ, and we are the distorted tr trumpet show podcast. And we are on our continuing <laughs> mission to understand uh, what we're supposed to be talking about, uh, which involves guitar pedals and trumpets and guitars and uh, exploring JJ's um, Aladdin's cave of... <laughs> it's like Mary Poppins' bag where she just keeps pulling things out of the thing. That's kind of like what JJ's got with his pedals. <laughs> so... Uh, we have another exciting one in store for you, which you will know what it is because it will be in the name of the video, but I have no idea, so. I don't know if you're going to know this one, but it's, Ooh. again, again. You know, this is, we're coming now to the end of our mini-series yes. on um, overdrive distortion. It's a little mini-series. Yep. We'll, by the end of this, if we add in the fuzz as well, yep. we've got five, and this is a sneak preview. Next week, we're going to chain all of those five together. We're going to compare them. Heads off. Nice. So, for me, this is the final of of that. It's not a triumvirate. It's a lot of quintumvirate. Quintumvirate. Yes. The most important distortion pedal. So. Uh... <laughs> Funny, there was somebody who played a trumpet today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 it's not <plugged> <laughs> I don't think you're going to know Do you know, is. one of these weeks, you should put it all the way down there. Just... <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Oh, it's a black box. Lovely. <laughs> black rat. Oh, that's how I have heard of. Yeah? I have heard of a, I haven't heard of a black rat, I have heard of a rat. Okay, so what, what does a rat mean to you? Just a filthy, dirty distortion. Lovely. Right? That's... That's my... That's technical. You got it. Technically this, sophisticated description of it. This is a uh, filthy, dirty distortion. Can, um, we, can we exclusively only do black pedals so they go with my trumpet? That is a good, good idea. Um, um, JJ, please tell me about the black rat. I'm just wondering how many other black pedals I've got. I don't actually have that many. No, we can't do that. Um, so yeah, so this is again. It's uh, it's a clone. Um, this is a, another mosky. So a Chinese copy of the Proko Rat, which for me is the other final super famous distortion pedal. Um, I'm going to read some notes again. Um, so this was developed in 1978 by a company called Proko, um, or Proko Sound. Um, the, um, the engineers in Proco, we're basically modding pedals because there's a whole thing about modding pedals and yeah. repairing pedals. And they decided that what they were working with, they thought they could do it better on their own. So that's when they decided to come up with the Proco Rat. It's been really, really consistent. Again, normally it's this box with three, three dials. They all look exactly the same. Yeah. It's made exactly the same way. Since then, it's always been in production. Mm. There's hundreds of thousands in, out there. Um, and that's it, it's a rat. Um, peculiarity of this one, you've got vintage and turbo. So there is a turbo rat, you've got the Proco rat, you've got the turbo rat. The difference is that the turbo rat uses LED diodes for a clicker, I think it uses okay. red, red LEDs. Nice. Oh, you do. Well, neither is there electrosomes, but no. you know, oh yeah. some somebody out there will know what that means. Um, that's it. Now, <clears throat> the rat has been in production, and there are again there are loads and loads of different copies. Every company makes a version of the yeah, rat. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they've all got amusing names. <laughs> um, Everybody uses them, so let's just throw in a few names. Dan Hawkins from The Darkness. Um, or 
though actually today arrived the Hawkins Brothers distortion pedal. And when I saw them the other week, he was not using a rat, ah. but he famously does use a black rat. You know, I didn't know they were brothers. Oh yeah, they are. No. Yeah. <laughs> um, so Dan Hawkins from The Darkness, one of my favourite bands. Um, James Hetfield. Nice. From Metallica, Kurt Cobain, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um, it's Beautiful. a classic, let's uh, plug in. Go for it. Go. Okay, so we've got it plugged in. Now I'm going to show you a, uh, a, a quick mod. <laughs> so this pedal, like um, a lot of some of the cheaper Chinese pedals, the light is so unbelievably bright. Oh yeah. It's just ridiculous. I'm just going to stick a bit of tape over it. Otherwise yeah, my, we won't um, see anything on the camera. My my reverb pedal is like that. Yeah, so Very it's, nice. it's still quite bad, but it's better than it was. Yeah. Okay, so this is a rat as usual. <clears throat> I am, for this series, I am running my uh, Gibson SG. <laughs> the rat into the ABY switcher no we're going into the ABY switcher into the rat into a black star amped 2 tiny bit of reverb into a Marshall 1x12 in the room this is what it sounds like there's one thing I just want to add in that I just remembered that I forgot oh, to mention in the introduction controversial there's something I found out recently that there is I was talking about the different versions of the rat. I talked about the turbo rat and yeah. things like that. There's one called the rat tail. Okay. It's built into the cable. I've no idea what sort of electrical wizardry that is. But you don't actually have the pedal. You don't have a pedal. You it's actually the cable. built into the cable. I've been trying to find one. So if anybody's got one for sale, can you let me know? Because I want to buy one. So at some point, people were messing around, putting Got pedals it. into actual cables. Wow. Yeah, I, I don't understand it. I don't understand it. But I want one, so if you've got one, let me know. Okay, so that's my clean tone. So we've got distortion volume. Um, it's a distortion pedal, so it's clearly not an overdrive pedal. It's not quite a fuzz, but it ain't far off. <laughs> yeah. The advice that I was given when using this pedal is that your volume, you kind of tweak. Yeah. And the best way to get good sound out of it is, is when you turn the distortion down, you turn the filter up and vice versa. And okay. the filter is kind of your... It's kind of your EQ, um, but it's different to most other EQs in that turning it to the right gives you more bass rather than treble. Okay. okay. Actually, do you want to have a little play? Oh, I like that. That's nice. nice um, you can like get it, it fairly clean I like it there is this turbo it's a, it's a classic turbo. okay nice All right let's hear some trumpet okay so in the heavy metal trumpet world <laughs> um, which I do not frequent uh, although I do love heavy metal uh, I am as always playing my black P trumpet. 
with everything that I've talked in every video so far. <laughs> Through uh, Yamaha Silent Brass, so we get a completely wet sound because otherwise you would just hear trumpet and that would totally defeat the object of all of this. Okay, so give us a clean tone please. Okay, so I'm going to start with, um, with low distortion then I'm going to just slowly ramp it up. Some delay, please, kind sir. <laughs> Just for a change. <laughs> really, a delay. I, I know. Need to delay. I know. Oh, I've never asked for it before. <laughs> yeah. Thought I'd try it for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> I am looking forward to the the mini series we do on delays. <laughs> I think that might be my favourite. I felt that's my favourite setting there, I'd say, for the trumpet. Let's see how yeah. that feels on the old guitar. That's about where it was with you. Compared to um, what were you looking at last week? It was the uh, the metal um, metal the zone. Boss right? metal, yeah. Thirty two. I don't know. I think. What do you think? Exactly. That's a very good question. I think I kind of. I don't know. To be honest, I don't. There aren't that many massive differences. In terms of, if it, in, and, term, and in, so, in right. terms of the effect they have on this, and is that because in a trumpet you your EQ is much more in that mid range rather? Than I think being... it must be. I I'm not a scientist or an electrician, and I have completely forgotten everything about music theory that I used to know. <laughs> um, but I imagine that's what it is. Um, but with that said. I love the sound of it and um, just like that black boss metal that we had last week when we got it in that in the, the right settings. Yeah. You know, if you get it dialed in and you get it to the right area, it's like it turns it into a, a different Yeah, it's a different, different piece, isn't it? Yeah, totally. It goes yeah. from it, it takes goes from sounding and it, light. And also it really depends where you put it in your pedal chain, right. yeah. What you've got and how they interact yeah, between yeah, yeah. them. No, so, that's a good one. Um, so in terms of 
price of these things. So, so again, you know, we've looked at a tube screamer, we've looked at, let's not talk about the Clon. <laughs> we looked at a tube screamer, the, um, the MT2, the Rat, um, uh, and the Fuzz. And the Fuzz, yes. Um, they're all fairly cheap, so I think a, a Proco Rat is like $75. Right. Again, this is a Chinese copy, this is yeah. like 25 bucks. Um, so it's not a it's not a boutique pedal. Um, it doesn't have a detailed EQ chain, mm. but they're 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 not expensive, um, and it's a classic circuit. Um, and I think it's great if you can find an area that serves what you need. You know, whether you want really distorted tone. Yeah. Um, I think we're sort of learning what we like. Yeah. In terms of the trumpet. Yeah. For me, that's it. That's the wraps. Nice. Yeah. Nice bit of low no, it's good. distortion. No. It's not transparent. Nice one. No, so, I like that. Good choice. I think we know what we need to do next, right? Yes. We need to have the fuzz. The, so there's the Beringer Super Fuzz, the Clon clone, yep. the Black Rat clone, the yep. Tube Screamer clone, the Boss MT2, Metal Zone, and let's run them side by side. See who wins. Contrast and compare. And let's run them all into each other. <laughs> Beautiful. See if I can shake the sound. Yeah, see if I can, <laughs> if we can shake, shake the house. Shake the foundation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Foundations. All right. All right. Join us next week for right. that excitement. All right. See you later. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye bye. <laughs>